the choir from the equator. More grace to you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I call on our brother innocent, please just give us an um, uh, opening prayer so God bless you. Thank you.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Before, before we continue, please let us try and be on a video. Let's try and be on a video. That is the instruction from the man of God. Obedience is better, better than sacrifice. Please let's obey. God bless us all as we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for announcement. This is Rapture Ready and Time Movement Worldwide. It's a heavenly mandated ministry instituted by the Lord Jesus Christ through a great burden to win more souls to the kingdom of God by populating heaven and depopulating hell. The movement is said to prepare the church for the rapture of the saints and a last day revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Annie Eleche Doje with divine encounters of heaven and hell, the kingdom of darkness, having a youth body to set the head on fire for Jesus. The ministry has to set the, the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with all their heart through a strong discipleship training, revelational knowledge, the word of God, last day revival and many more. The movement tends to reach out to souls all over the world through undiluted holiness and to let people see the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirmed his word with signs and wonders. Our goal is to set the earth on fire through a last day revival to make disciples of all race, getting souls rapture ready and prepared for heaven, delivering many from the yoke of bondage and sin, exercising the fullness and operation of a faithful ministry, organizing deliverance, camping programs, and prayer all over the nation. Our vision, salvation, sanctification, undiluted holiness, Holy Ghost baptism, consecration, discipleship, power, and fruit and gift of the Holy Spirit. Rain believes in the rapture, tribulation, deliverance, grace, water baptism, trinity, spiritual gift, and the totality of the word of God. Country fellowship. Do want to join our country fellowship in South Africa, Ghana, Germany stroke Europe, USA stroke Canada, United Kingdom stroke, United Kingdom, and spreading across UNES. Weekly activities every Wednesday, Bible study from 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Every Thursday, charismatic choir from 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Every Friday, deliverance night VG from 1 a.m. Nigeria time. Every first and last Saturday of the month, Rem Worldwide Group Lagos Prayer Revival from 1 p.m. Children Fellowship every Saturday from 4 p.m. Nigeria time. Sunday service, we have two service on Sunday. We, the first one starts by 9 a.m. Nigeria time, followed by discipleship class from 12 p.m. Nigeria time. Our second service starts 1 p.m. Nigeria time. Sisters and Brothers Sunday Fellowship, 5 p.m. Nigeria time. Only communion service every last Sunday of the month after service. Praise the Lord. Morning devotion, 5 a.m. country time. USA, USA through Canada, Germany, Africa through Europe, United Kingdom through Thailand. The ministry gives in its sight and offering through the ministry account to support the expansion of God's work and the heavenly mandate. Let's be faithful in our sighting, offering, and seed sowing to avoid the devourer and close doors. Let's also support our ongoing deliverance camp project for deliverance in Lagos, Nigeria. 
For more information, counseling, please contact the man of God at rainworldwide at gmail.com. God bless us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Is there any new member fellowshipping with us for the first time? Please unmute yourself and tell us where you are fellowshipping from. God bless you. Okay. If there's no new member, we'll continue. Testimony time. Blessing time. If you know the Lord has done a great thing in your life, please kindly unmute yourself. Share your testimony with, with us as we rejoice with you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We just want to thank God for what God has done in our life. Our successful wedding. God was with us upon the entire transportation, but God see her through me and my husband. We so much appreciate God for what God has done in our life. Say may his name be praised forever and ever. And I just want to use this opportunity to thank every one of you that was there for us with prayers, with your focus on everything, the man of God. We thank everybody for how you have done your contribution. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. And may the Lord, whatever is your heart desire, our prayer is that the Lord will bless the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. We really love you all, your love and your support. We see everything. May God supply you all in Jesus' name. I just need a this opportunity to thank God Almighty for what he has done for us. And uh, you people who are not there presently, but God surprised us with with many things he has done for us, we did not just prepare for this, but with faith, we hold on me and my husband, but God for Christ, or completely, always that we did not just know how they arrange everything. We were surprised, and God just do everything for us. We surprised how God arrange everything, use people to arrange everything. We don't, we don't just know how he's he done everything, but we just give all glory to God. He was with us. For this journey to the end, and I pray that me and my husband will make everyone together for his support and everything is done for us. We pray and we 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 we, we ask God to give us the grace to make this ever together in love and unity. And God bless you all in Jesus' name. I'm saying this in the in the support of my husband. He gave me the 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 right to say this. That's why I'm saying it on his behalf. And I we thank you all and we love you all. And the man of God. I just thank the man of God and for his support. He support us for these things. And God will reward, will reward him. And I pray that more grace for him. He surprise us and God will surprise you, man of God. I pray that the Lord will give you more strength, more zeal, and more, more wisdom to lead these children, these uh, uh, the children of God to, to his kingdom. And we love you, man of God. God bless you, sir. God bless you and God bless you all in Jesus' name. That is our testimony. Thank you all. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. It's a, it's a precious. We rejoice with you. We thank God for the successful uh, plan, for the successful wedding. We thank God Almighty. We rejoice with you. We rejoice with your husband. May your home be fruitful in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Any other testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is Sister Dina in the UK. Um, this time last week, I was in pain. I wasn't able to walk very much. I was tired and exhausted and... I was always having to lie down and I was admitted to hospital. And, um, you know, uh, I was here. I was just believing on God to make me well. The brothers and sisters that went prayed for me. And today I stood for the glory of God and I praised him and I danced him. And it was so nice. I just felt like I was in heaven in, you know, in the congregation of the righteous praising God. 
So I just want to say thank you to everybody for your prayers. Um, I want to exalt God um, thank Jesus, you know, for healing, for my healing and um, for giving me my health back. Um, the devil tried to say I had certain condition and I rebuked it in the name of Jesus Christ because it is, sickness is not my portion in Jesus name. And I'm, I'm, I'm better. I'm, I'm better now. Um, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling very positive. I appreciate my health. I'm awaiting the coming of us, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have a new zeal for life. I have a new zeal to serve the Lord. I thank God for the lives of Brother Anayele, Brother Godwin, Sister Jacqueline, Sister, Sister, Sister Jackie Joseph, all, all the brothers and sisters at Rem, Sister Yvonne, Sister Bonna, Gona, Sister Umunwa. Um, I just want to say thank you to God for Rem. I just want to say thank you to God for choosing me, giving me the grace to be in his presence. Um, I just want to thank him and thank him and just lift him up and exhort him. I think he's wonderful and amazing. I want to thank him for the joy he's given me in my heart. I want to thank him for spiritual growth and understanding and drawing me closer to him and keeping me strong and not not letting the devil steal steal my virtues, but only letting let, letting this um this this bout of sickness to strengthen my relationship with him. And I pray to God that he'll uh, I pray to God that he'll continue to renew my trust and my faith in him daily and I will only go to higher heights and you know that, that I'll run this race together with Jesus um I, I bless God's name he's a mighty miracle worker he's wonderful he's amazing he's awesome he's incredible omnipotent omnipresent almighty God everlasting alpha and omega I just think he's amazing I can't even find words to describe him I just thank him so much and I'm so happy that that he drew me near I'm, I'm so happy to have him in my life I just I just bless him and I'm, I'm just so happy for all the brothers and sisters at REM and I, I pray to God that REM goes from strength to strength. I'm just so happy. I just, I can't even find any more words to express myself. I just, I just thank God so much for everything. I just thank him so much. I bless his name. I worship him. I lift him higher. I, I, I just think he's amazing. Praise God. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, sister. We thank God for your life. We thank God for all the things that the Lord is doing in your life. You know, we pray that may your, may, may your faith continue to increase in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, may he uphold you to, in the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We just to truly bless God for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Any other testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to give God all the glory for adding another year onto my first son. He turned six in um, 4th of April, so I just want to give him all the glory, all the adoration that my son is here, is alive and is healthy, and I give God all the thanks. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Now we thank God. We thank God for your life. We thank God for that wonderful testimony. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Any other? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I just want to testify to the glory of God concerning my life. Before I do so, I just want to sing to praise his name for all his mercies and goodness upon my life this kind god oh, i never see your type oh. this kind god oh. blessed be your holy name this kind god this kind God, oh, I never see, I never see your type, oh, I never see. This kind God, oh, when I decide, blessed be your holy name. I just want to thank God for my life. You know, when I look back almost two years ago, I thank God for where he has brought me from and where he's taking me to. I give God all the glory for all that he has done for me this year. You know, since 
two weeks ago, he has been faithful in everything that I've been asking for years. Say just one day, he changed everything in my life. I just want to thank and bless his name for my salvation. I want to thank him for good health. I want to thank him for the strength that he has given me since, even when I do not know him. If I think about since how since I was growing up to now, if I think about all the things that God has put me through, it's just for my for, for me to be able to be who I am today. I just want to bless his name. I just want to glorify his name. I just want to thank him because he alone is worthy of all the praise that I've given if there is much all over my body. It's not even enough to glorify the name of the Lord for all the blessings, for all the good things. Even when I'm going through tough time, he's always there. He comes to meet my need. Even when I'm in need, he's there. Notice that I don't even lack anything. I've not I have not lacked anything. Wherever that I need anything, he is there. When I'm confused in any way, he is there. I just want to bless his name. I just want to thank him for everything that Doing, all the battle that is fighting for me, all the doors that he has opened for me. I just want to glorify his name and thank him in Jesus' name. That is my testimony. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Amen. Yvonne. We thank God for your life. We rejoice with you. We thank God for all he's doing for you and your family. Our God is faithful, is faithful, is faithful to those that love his name. We bless the name of God for that. You are blessed. Your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you. The last testimony. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to testify to the glory of God for what God has been doing in my life. I really appreciate him. Um, I'm not worthy to to have all this love and care. And he has been doing great in my life. Even yesterday, I have a sharp pain yesterday. At the right of my stomach, I call Sister Joy. We pray together with the mighty and we anoint it. So she told me that we should, I should all believe that with faith, I will be healed. So before we pray finish, I said that the pain has already gone. So before I know it, I'm now walking to the up like sharp pain near the side of my ribs. So I was like, I'm just even giving glory, glory to God now that um, the pain in my stomach and the first day has done. What is this? Just uh, let me remove my mind there. So after our fellowship yesterday, the pain was getting. So I was just like, I know that everything will be okay to go. God that make that other one to left to me. God that he may also do the same thing. So I ignore it. I did it. So, so in the night, midnight, I was having that big um, I, I dream, when I dream, I was like, oh, no, it's like um, water flowing. And where I, I, you see this, our God is so wonderful. I remember his God, he said, pass through water. And the water would not overflow you. And where I hide, I, and the, the, the water was just like storm, blowing, come me and my school. And I was like, let us hide there. I was like, no, God, we are just having this faith, this strong faith in the Lord. And to God be the glory, the water did not even come there before we know just that God can just take some things away. Very strong water. So that was left. I, I, we continue our journey in the morning. So before I wake up, you know, when you are running, you'll be breathing up and down. So before I wake up, I couldn't breathe anymore. And my nose was blocked. My that is pain increasing. The more I tried to use my mouth to, to breathe, the, the pain would be just sharp, sharp pain. I was like, I did not stand up. I stood up. I want to wake my husband. I said, no, you will not do anything. It's God that will do something. I carry my Bible and my story. I begin to pray. I pray, God, I don't want to call and blast, and I don't want to go to hospital. You have done one for me this uh, yesterday. With faith, I believe you will do this one for me. I started praying. I started praying. I used the anointing to anoint it. So I went to sleep. I couldn't breathe. I put on no wasting drops. Then with prayer, I was still praying there before I sleep, before I sleep off. So this one, I'm about to, I'm, 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 when I'm bathing, 
this early morning, the pain was still there, but it was not too strong like that. I was still praying, I was still praying. So <laughs> when I'm praying, I remember when the, one of our brother here said, he put an oil here to be add to the water he used to bath. So I was like, ah, I've already rubbed an oil here before. And who can get me the anointing? I was just like, God. I now remember his word also saying his, um, when he created his, his, um, his, his, um, his, um, his power move on top of the sea, on top of the water. Now, now go inside the water. I use it to bath. After bathing, I use the anointing on your bath. I say, with faith, with the more with things that you are doing for me, because now, this moment, I don't even know. I don't even know how to thank him. I don't even know how to make the testimony. My joy is really flowing. My joy is really flowing. God is doing wonderful things. God restore my peace. If I don't even understand, I was like, what is going on? God, is that you doing this wonderful thing for me and my family? I don't have peace. I don't have joy before. But now everything is just going smooth. I was still shocked. So what is this pain? I said, God, I do that one that I've never even, I've not even believed that. This is me. This is my home. This is my life. Because I'm seeing the goodness of God in my life. And I'm thanking God for making me to find myself here in this great and only ministry. So I was using I was using that my testimony to 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 walk down and show you again with that with then I put on my clothes. To go be the glory, the, this is just that is the morning. I can breathe well. And I sleep again there before the before the fellowship. I sleep very well. I can breathe the pain. I was still pressing it. I be I see the way I'm I'm walking, there's no few there. I was that this God is so faithful, this God is so wonderful. I don't know how to thank him. I thought I do not believe that he can answer as in when you are waiting for something for as in something from God that God do this, do this. And it's not you are not seeing anything. It's like sometimes it's not that I lost faith. No, but sometimes I'm like have mercy in your mercy. It's like I'm I'm a sinner. That's why I'm asking this thing. That's why this thing is not coming to pass. But when the thing just come and everything was going smoothly, smooth, smooth, gradually, gradually, and it was like, ah, ah, God, what is that going on? God, I can feel your presence. God, I thank you. I just want to glorify the name of God. I want to bless. I want to bless. I want to bless. May the grace of the Lord be with our sister the Lord to start joy and everybody. I want to thank God for our life for using her to. Because she's just like my spiritual sister too. God, I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your faithfulness, for your mercy, for your mercy upon my life, for making me to find myself in this great, great ministry. I thank God. May the peace of the Lord, may the love of the Lord, may the mercy of God, goodness of God, be our daily portion in this ministry in the name of Jesus. That is my testimony. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow, that is a wonderful testimony. We thank God for your life, sister. We bless God. We thank God for that wonderful testimony. Your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. That is a wonderful testimony. God bless you, sister. We appreciate God for your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, if anyone has testimony, you can keep the testimony uh, during the Bible, your know, charismatic fight. Charismatic choir on Thursday, you can share your testimony because of our time. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's time for Bible reading. Anyone from the Bible? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody have testimony from the airport? Yes, sir. yes, we have. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, to have a testimony with my brother here. I need to take the to the glory of God. So the Lord has been wonderful. And uh, what the Lord has done is something like I English to be to say or speak other in our life. But today, we came down to this headquarters. It has been awesome God working for himself. 
And then you can pray, which is in the middle of God, uh, which also the Lord has used to come up uh, the ministry. But we are there just to thank the Lord for what we have started because He made a promise. You know, I, I, I made a comment today about uh, trusting the Lord, trusting Jesus. I don't know where to start. I was like telling part of my testimony that I don't remember. Telling some things that I have done in my life. I don't think we are the second. But uh, Jesus has picked that man on the battle. And he cleans that man up. And uh, he decided to use that up in his, his glory. And so this is my very action. He decided to use that man. Not because we are perfect. Not because uh, we pray for anyone. Neither are we, are we beautiful or not handsome than anyone. But he chooses to do. Let's be my love. So that is why we have to learn that from some. Also, uh, we start wasting time also. I want to use the opportunity and uh, I thank the Lord for using our brother. We call it our brother. We call it uh, it's our brother. Uh, some people sometimes will go out and they say, Is this one your brother or your mama? Or I need to say, Mama, yes, yeah, it's the same mama. Uh, they will say, Mama, yes, the way we use it seems like we are the same mother. Indeed, as the Lord also my brother, I thank the Lord and I thank Him for His life. And I pray for Him, we pray for Him that what God has begun for His life, He will never stop. Yeah. Uh, because He will grow to reach where God has appointed Him. Yeah. Also, as the Lord has come to begin by the grace of this therapist, and the, as the Lord has brought us together, the time will never be finished. Yeah. I, know, I know that every cycle. But sometimes, when you, are, when you have the understanding, you don't have to do that. So you may say, try to be very nice and use the But the thing is that, out of anger, I don't know, if you don't, sometimes I'm angry with it. You say, uh, what do I have to say? What do I have to say? I'm angry. I'm angry with them, I know. But the Lord will remind me, don't be the death of my children. The hours will come. Hours of anger will come. Hours of jealousy will come. You will end it. They will like you to end it. They will like you to keep jealousy. But you must stand. Because I'm taking you somewhere. And I'm taking care of you somewhere. This is my brother told me something about the Seda. He said, Press fast. When he said, Press, tell him, Mami. He said, Tell him. And that reminds me also what the Lord also has spoken to me. What I said. So I said, Go ahead. You will see the moon. And the moon is going to give up life to the Lord. And the moon is going to shine to the end of the world. Because it's not for man. We did not just come into the house of God to do our own. I don't even know what to do. Sometimes I think I say, God, what am I doing? Because I don't know. I didn't go to Bible school. <laughs> I said, oh, no, I don't know how to read Bible before. That is the most to me. I am loyal to him. I'm, I'm subject to Jesus Christ. And I pray he keep me in the subjection to him alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let's get this song to the Lord. Okay, I will like my wife to sing then, you can sing. <laughs> Do you want to sing? Okay, you can sing then.
And as you tell that there was no choice of the sickness, but the Lord healed me from the day I came to Jesus Christ. So I want to thank this opportunity and give glory to the Lord God. And give glory to God Almighty. And give glory to God who never changed. And give glory to me that they say nothing good will come out of him. By the grace of God, I am the one God in the preliminary heart. And they said to run this child away. They said, Go to run him and run him in the body. So you say, I've got him. We have got him how many times. But God is not his life, even in the room. Seven times. Seven times I've lost the disorder just because of his glory. I am standing in favor and say, Lord, I am for you. And that is why I have given my body, my soul, and my spirit to me. And I thank him for bringing up. And let us not only have the testimony, I will just only to encourage you so that the Lord may make something that is not an act of something for himself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is why I want to sing the song to the glory of God. I never see, I never see, I never see this kind of love. This love, now I love. This love, now I love. I never see, I never see, wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see, I never see this kind of love. testimony from two of our brothers. God bless you all. God bless you all. More grace to you, Brother Innocent. More grace to you. You will continue to live in this race. We continue. We end well in Jesus' name. You will Amen. end well by the special grace of God. At the end, God, our Lord Jesus, we say, welcome, my son. Also with every one of us here, Brother Godwin, that is also a wonderful testimony. That is a wonderful testimony. We thank God for the saving, for saving of your life, for saving you both, Brother Innocent and Brother Godwin. We bless the name of the Lord for your life. May God Almighty continue to uphold you all in the mighty name of Jesus. You both will end well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We continue our program. It's time for choir ministration. Sister Sandra, over to you, man. God bless you. Ah, sorry. Pardon me. Sorry. Uh, choir from the headquarters. Over to you. 
What is that, Godfrey?
Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is a wonderful one. There is not a friend like the lonely Jesus. That is a wonderful one from the choir from the choir from the headquarter. God bless you all more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time to hear the word of God. I hope we are all prepared. You are welcome, sir. Over to the man of God. You are welcome in Jesus' name. More grace to you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Yes. I hear you, sir. But it's not yes. today. Okay. So I said that let's be on the video and let's try to break the Lord. Okay. I am, I am. Every day I will meet my Jesus. I am. Every day. I am. I am. I am. I 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're going to praise Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Amen. He will send the devil back in. Yes. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to take over the earth for the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to run the earth for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Until we get to heaven. Amen. Until we get to heaven. Amen. Until we get to heaven. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Until I continue singing for I'm not going to preach, you know. So, let's have a seat. Okay, let's have a seat. Now, welcome to today's uh, Sunday Fire Service. Um, a glorious time in God's presence. Um, so that one that put the phone uh, for all that really touched my heart, you know. And uh, in peace, God is been so good. Is there? Is there anything we have not seen the Lord do in our life? He's brought as many people to the Lord. We've seen him bring the captives to the Lord. I've seen God bring prostitutes in this ministry to the Lord. Is there anything we've not seen? I've seen God bring people that have left and done evil things, you know. People that have even killed, done a lot of things, abortion. I've seen God bring them to the Lord. And you heard our brother said, you know, somebody bring the house. I've seen, we have seen God bring it to the Lord also. Our brother also, also we think God. Is there anything we've not seen God do? I know that He's going to do more. Amen. I know that He's going to do more. Amen. And we will not have rest until we get all those people, all those people that have left and they are serving Satan. We will not rest until we get all of them back to Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to be looking at the wonderful topic that the Holy Spirit has prepared for us. First and foremost, I thank the Holy Spirit. I know He's here with us today also. And I know He's always there. He's just watching. And He's just watching. And He's just looking at each and every one of us. He's always there. Because the Holy Spirit is a person. He's a person. Always see just like your friend. You can feel His presence always. And we thank Lord Jesus. And we thank the Father for the grace He has given to us here. And we are alive today is by the grace of God. It's not because we have done anything special. It's just by grace we are saved. Let anyone should go. And we thank God for that grace. And that grace is continually be upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We to look at something that the Lord has prepared for us. It's building faith. Building your faith. Building your faith. I want us to be men and women of faith. I want us, a man of faith is a man of power. A man of faith is not easily defeated by Satan. A man of faith is not easily triumphed by the kingdom of darkness. A woman of faith. A man of faith. And these are the kind of people that I know that heaven is waiting to just receive over there. It's not just a powerless Christian. A Christian that is powerful. Powerful in your own personal life. Powerful to defeat the arrows of sin. And powerful to stand firm in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to start from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the point one here is speaking for the word. Speaking for the word. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God is not just an ordinary word. It's a purifier. The word of God is so powerful. And that there is nothing absolutely that this word cannot do. There is absolutely. First and foremost, like I always say, we must learn to speak positive words. You must learn to speak positive words. You don't have it, but you, you have it. Through the declaration and the pronunciation of your word, you have it. God doesn't really talk too much, but when he speaks, everything he says comes to pass. Because he's careful about his word. God's word is God's bond. What it means is that what makes God to be God, why we exalt God and why we worship him, apart from what God has created, why God is God is because his work cannot fall. My work can fall and your work can fall. There's something we must learn about the God factor and the God head. When he speaks a word, it is surely established. Because he believes it. Even before he speaks those things, he believes it. And that's why the Bible says he collects those things that are not as if they be. In his mind, when God says that they are like, right, he's already seen life inside of him already. He's just calling for He's already seen it already. So we must speak always through the eyes of faith. 
We must be punished through the eyes of faith. Maybe you are having some pains in your body and sickness or something like that. Who told you you have malaria? Who told you you have typhoid? Who told you you have sickness in your body? You are the one that is saying that. But that's not what God says upon your life. Even though it might be very much hard to say, we must learn to speak for positive words. Because as you are doing that, you are building your faith. You are building your faith. You are increasing your faith in the Lord. And it must be that our faith must be in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray God is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One of the things that I do is that when I'm in trouble, I try to get a word from the Lord. Try to always get a word from the Lord. When I mean get a word, I want to get a word of consolation from the Lord. I say, I'm like, how am I going to come out of this thing? I want to get a word from the Lord. Because any time you receive a word from the Lord, it increases your faith. It's just like any time somebody comes to you and prophesies to you, or so, or maybe you are in deliverance service, and someone has got now called out your problem and said something like, There's somebody here, there's somebody here, this, and see, and this is what you are listening, and we see God all those things. What happened to you? You, you realize that your faith charges off. Your faith charges off. That's what happens. The word of God is responsible for building your faith. And that's why we must keep on receiving it. Anytime you want to receive it, receive it. True study of the word. I pray God is going to do these things in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray God is going to do it in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you realize something about Jesus Christ? Jesus doesn't speak like a thief. Why? So that I've been asking myself, is it that Jesus is lying? He's not lying. But why is that Jesus doesn't speak like I speak, you know? He doesn't speak like I speak. He doesn't tell speak that. Oh, all of you, drop the nets inside of that place. There are fishes there. Now, he see through the eyes of faith. Peter and all those apostles, they cannot say anything. And they're like, God, oh God, Jesus, why would you tell me to drop this thing there? But there's nothing here. He collects those things that are not as if they be. Lazarus is dead. Oh Jesus, my brother, why didn't you go when my brother was going to die? Why didn't you save my brother? Jesus is just laughing, you know. What did Jesus say? Lazarus is asleep. Is Jesus lying? Jesus can't fight. And we say the truth. It is Lazarus that if you are not Jesus, death has no power. And you see, now why is Jesus speaking like that? Jesus is speaking like that because he knows who his father is. Now, when you begin to know who your father is, you begin to speak with the eyes of understanding. Our eyes of understanding will be changed today. Yeah. Our eyes of understanding is going to be changed today. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So you see Jesus, when Jesus speaks, you know, he speaks as if that thing has already come to pass, even though it has not happened. That's how we should speak, you know. That's how we should speak, you know. So when I'm speaking, you know, I believe, I know in my heart that all that God has spoken upon our life, all that God has spoken upon our very head, I think it comes to pass. It's just, it's just a matter of time. Because everything in the spirit grows by time. It's just a matter of time. Everything will come to pass in your life that God has spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The promises that God has given to you, no devil can stop it. Amen. No power can stop it. Amen. And that's how you should speak to the devil. God said it, and God will bring it to pass. And that's why you should tell the devil, Satan, you can't stop what God has said upon my life. You can't hold me down. God promised me. God said to me, Chino, okay, nothing is by promise. Nothing is going to hurt you, and nothing happened that way. The Lord is faithful to His word, and that's the same kind of revelation we must carry. We must speak that word of faith. Let's look at Jim. There is something again I want, I want to show you about the Holy Spirit. About the Holy Spirit. I think see this. Do you know that we are in the era of the Holy Spirit? In the beginning, the Father came. The Father sent Jesus. I hope you know. The Father sent Jesus. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. And now we're in that era of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here with us. I, I, I come to realize that we must understand when it is time to appreciate the Holy Spirit. And we must understand when it is time to appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because every revelation you get, Jesus is not responsible for that. Though. You might be surprised. If the Holy Spirit is responsible, the only thing is responsible for the mighty power of God in your life is the Holy Spirit. One of the things that the Holy Spirit does is that he now leads me to Jesus Christ. Let, let's go to John. Let's go to John. John 16. John 16. 
just is it fast pa- for them. I want where we are buying you, you know. Look at my Bible, look at my Bible, look at my Bible, look at my Bible. I want you with your own Bible, not a phone, not a tab, not an iPad, you know. I want physical Bible. <laughs> okay, I pray that we can do that by in the name of Jesus Christ. John 16, verse 14. Look at what he says there. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. What is the Lord saying? He will glorify. He will take of his words. He will take of his words and he will show it. He will show it unto us. He shall, he shall take of God's words, which is the Holy Spirit breathes on the word of God. The Holy Spirit takes forth the word. The Holy Spirit takes Jesus. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the word of God. So anytime you are speaking the word of God, you are, you are calling forth Jesus Christ. Now, the Holy Spirit takes the word. And he now brings on it. That's the words of Jesus. He now brings on it. The word without the Holy Spirit is powerless. Are you getting? Now, it is only when the Holy Spirit brings on the word, the word has power. It happened in Genesis. Open to Genesis. Genesis word. Genesis 1, uh, 2, 3. Look at that. He says, And the earth was without form, and boy, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. <laughs> and the Spirit, what was the Spirit of God? That's the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God, that's the mighty force of God. The Trinity are in agreement. They all work together. And the Spirit of God, the mighty force of God, the mighty wave of God, the moving power of God. The action power of God and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. It's just moving, it cannot do anything. He's looking for something. That thing is looking for you, give it today. That thing is looking for you, give it today. That thing is looking for you, God of give it today. He's looking for something. What is he looking for? And the spirit of God is just moving. He's just moving. He's just moving. He's just moving. It's just like a dog or an, an animal or uh, any kind of animal that you have, and the animal is just moving. The animal is looking for bones to eat. If you did not see that bone to eat, it will not eat. It's the same thing here. He says in verse 3, and God said, the Holy Spirit said, thank you. You, you. you have come now. Thank you, Father. You have given me what I need. I need this song. Thank you. Thank you. And God said, Immediately God said, God spoke the word. The Holy Spirit said, Yes, I got that. Let that be my. And the Holy Spirit came in the middle of That's why the Holy Spirit was moving. The Holy Spirit was looking for the word of God. So, you know what? You've got to supply the word of God to the Holy Spirit before you want. And that is why, even though there is a sick person there, if you don't speak the word, the Holy Spirit will not carry it. If you don't say like that, the Holy Spirit will be looking at you. You have to say, Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You know what happened? The Holy Spirit goes, he brings and says, Oh, I see the power of God. Before you know it, something happens and healing takes place. That's how the supernatural power of God operates. It's happening in your life. Amen. Every darkness, every sickness, everything which you want in your life, I speak forth the word of God. And the Holy Spirit carries it right now. I say, Let there be a God around in that life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power, every arrow from the pit of hell. Standing in the way because the prideful says that he has finished it all and he went up to his rest. And Jesus finished it all on the cross. I say that finished work of Jesus is not upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As I speak the word now, the Holy Spirit carries it and say, Oh, thank God, Jesus is supplying the word to me right now. Are you seeing how they are praying? People will supply to me. Father will be there and you make moon. Someone will be there. The word he will supply to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will now move. That's why you don't greet the Holy Spirit. You know? that 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 personality works so much. He works so much that you can imagine. You know, even though he doesn't show himself, but he's working too much. So please don't greet him. You know, and and if you don't recognize his presence, it's as if you're greeting him. I pray God is going to give us this revelational insight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Romans, Romans ten. Romans 10, 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing. Hearing. Not 
negative news. Not rubbish words. Faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by fake news. Is it fake news? See this station. Without Trump news. By the word of God. Erdogan, the, the king of Turkey. By the word of God. Islamic candidate. By the word of God. Oh, no. Let's come up by clean good against you know. By the word of God. Oh, my God. I don't know so it. How does it come, you know? By the word of God. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Is it not by the word of one man in the village? By the word of God. Ah, by the word of your uncle. By the word of God. The uncle said you will die. It's not by the word. By the word of God. <laughs> I thought it's by the word of that wicked, useless man that is speaking against your life. Is it by his word? By the word of God. 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 Thank you. 
you marry. And they was like, let the blind man see. It's not just that somebody is just picking that. The person has deep understanding of what he said. We are going to have deep understanding of God's word. Amen. I think we're going to have deep understanding of God's word. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's coming by hearing. My brothers and sisters, take every day to get God's word. You know, anytime you're listening to a sermon, your faith is getting built up. Anytime you're even listening to a song, as long as you have God's word, like, I love to listen to some young music, you know. That's my best gospel act so much, you know. I can play a song from morning to night. Why? Because the way the song is speaking has the property of God's word. And you see, he, 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 he praises or he worships with sounds. It's increasing my faith. It's increasing my faith. When, when he says, oh, be healed, be healed, we give you glory. You, you, it's increasing my faith. It's making me see God in another dimension. Are you seeing that he has the property of the word of God? In a picture, a video, a sermon, a life illustration, he has the property of the word of God. That's why you don't listen to worldly music. If you listen to a worldly music, what I just say is, you know, I love myself, you know, if I'm passing by you and they are playing world music, so you just say, oh, 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 oh. I wanted to cut my head. I say, if you this, this is too big for me. You want to bust my ears. My ears are going to spoil. You know. Somebody like you, please say, I'm building my faith. I'm building my faith. Our faith will be built up in the name of 
Jesus Christ. Amen. The second part of this is understanding the sovereignty of God. Understanding the personality of God. My brother, if I look at the world, when I see people say, that's the time it is, that's the time it is, I see the things tell me, I can't you know. God, I, I, I'm like, I think people are fools. If I go to a fool, I will say that there is no God. How can you say there is no God? Who is making all these things turn around? Of recent, I, I, I always follow with scientific research, you know. They've done, they've done something. If you spend up to 9 point something million dollars, they created a hotel in space. There's a hotel they created in space. <laughs> These people are crazy. <laughs> they created a hotel in space. If you want to go there, you have to do a technical street and you spend a couple of something like up to 9 point something million dollars in order to go for that street. And there are many people that go to that. What are you doing for me? Yes, that's what we said for you. It's not enough. And you go to space and look for a hotel. And you see that there are some people they act, they don't know that if it's real God that is controlling the universe, they think they have the power on their own. But if you want your faith to be built up, understand who God is. That indeed God is the creator of this universe. Indeed, everything works because of there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven mapping out everything on this earth. It's not what any scientists does. It's not what any Stephen Hawking has done before. It's not what any Abraham Stein has done. Not what all these people did. It's God doing all things. So that's how I feel my faith. So because whenever the devil challenges me, you know what I do? I say, if God did all these things, think about the testimonies that God has given to all of you. Anytime the devil attacks you and tells you it's a lie, it's impossible, God will not do it. You will not get it. You will not get there. You know what? Remind the devil that, look at that. God did that for me last year. He did that for me last two months. If God can do that one, he can still do this one. That's how you build your faith. So tell the devil, the devil is always speaking to you. You might not know he's speaking to you, but he's speaking to you. He's speaking to you. There's no self-esteem is given to you. He's speaking to you by telling you it's a lie, it cannot be. You are already passing the age. How can you give that to children? He's a lie. Tell me that you are a liar. God did it for Sarah. God will do it for me. He's already telling you, look at you, you cannot be healed. Tell me that oh, God has healed that woman with the issue of blood for 10 something years or 20 something years. God will do it for me. He might tell you that you will die, you will not live. Or tell me that God did it for Lazarus. God will do it for me. Or God did it for the present. He will do it for me. What am I trying to say? Remind God of his word. Bring back God's word back to me. Bring the word of God. Just like that king is the higher thing, you know. He brought God's word to himself. I say, take your word. Offer God his word. You know why? Because God hears that his word. He respects his word. He respects his word. Not back 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. He cannot lie. That thing he say he will do is what God will do. So when you constantly think and meditate on the word of God, your faith is being built up. Your faith is being built up. Your faith is being built up. Psalm 1, blessed is the man. He walked not in the castle of the ungodly. He, he does not sit in the way of the sinner. But he constantly meditates on the word day and night. What does the Bible say about that man? He will prosper. Meditate on the word. As you are sleeping, think of the word. Think of that thing that God has spoken to you, you know. There's a delay in your life. Think of what God has spoken to you. And it's what will surely come to pass. I know there are many things we are worried about. I also sometimes, it seems as if I should be worried, you know. But I remember myself, I say, but God has been all these things. But to me, that is not a thing of all things. No, ask yourself that question. God has given you salvation. Does it mean that he's not taking note of you? Because some people think that God does not take note of them. God only thinks about some other people. When God thinks about his brother, he does not think about this one. But he gave you salvation now. Huh? Don't you know that before he gave you salvation, he wrote it down that you will be saved? He gave you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If he can give you those things, why can't he know that for you? To do it in our life. Amen. Build your faith by the things that God has done. Through the testimonies of others. That's why I encourage us to always share testimony. I think maybe the, the testimonies of our brothers, of our sisters, and all these people. I look at Sister Diana here. You know, God has touched that, God has healed that. And as 
sustain your life. You should be able to speak your own way that hey, God did it for China, it's God did it for Delhi, it's God did it for Bogodi, it's God did it for the sisters here, and all of us. He can do it for us. He's going to do it for us. Amen. He's going to do it for us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's start Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2, verse 4. I believe so. Uh, so, God's word. Let's, let's be men, of, men and women of faith. Think of the sovereignty of God always. Think of the mightiness of God. Think of the wonders of this living God. Think of the things that God has done before. Hebrews 2 and 4. God also bearing their witness, both with signs and wonder, and with diverse miracles and gift of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. Are you seeing why God is doing those things? Many reasons why God works and gives us all these testimonies in red. It's not even basically because of all the things, all your works. It's by grace. It's because He wants you to know that He's alive in our midst. He wants you to know that He's living in our midst. He wants you. I don't know, there's a particular revelation. God said, You think I do signs and wonders in a church or in a ministry because of the pastor or because somebody is praying there? I do it because of want to honor my own name. I do it because as in, I want my name to be proclaimed. So when God is doing all these things, he He did it because he wants you to know that he's the one that set up the standard for the ministry. He's the one. It's not because of any man. And you see, everything that God is doing is for a purpose. My brothers and sisters, that's to show you the divine love that God has for each and every one of us. Our faith is going to rise up today. Amen. Our faith is going to be written today. Amen. Because as we go to God in prayer today, all of them is going to stay in this. You tell them to get away. And they get away. You give the Holy Spirit the word. Say, oh, you must go, 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 go. Come and take the word. Come and take the word. So you can say, yes, my son. Give me the word. Give me the word. I want to operate right now. Before you know it, it just operates. Zoom. Before you know it, it just does something like you that time. He'll do it in your life. Amen. He'll do it in our family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So think of the sovereignty of God and think of the operations of the living God. You know, think the, uh, like I said, the last verse, the verse still went. I, I, I was looking at the, the sea, you know, you know, I was almost there, you know, never gonna lie to you. I was like, oh my God, hope this thing won't carry us away, you know. But I realized something, God set a boundary on the sea, on the river, on all these things. How does God do all these things? He shows you that there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. There is a God. There is a God in heaven. The the most powerful. There is a God. There is a God. There is a God in heaven. The the most most powerful. powerful. Sovereignty and building your faith in prayer. 
you know, I know if, if God should come down now and, and say, if God should say to one of us now and say, maybe, oh, Brother Samson, you are going to become the president of France. I know, Brother Samson, you believe God now. You, you're, you're going to believe God. You're going to say, yes, yes. How about our company in my life today? He's going to. Even 
seventh month, yeah. eighth month, this happens. Or there is something that will happen and the baby will not come out all in that. But he bought everything for the baby. So he has bought everything for the baby. Sam, he has kept it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So even before you are giving to birth to that baby, you know, before you are giving birth to that baby, you know, don't buy everything. Like, keep it down. Keep it down. And you just keep it like that. Keep it like that. That's, that's the same thing I would do. Before I have a baby, I don't buy anything like that. I keep it like that. You are applying a lot of things. You are applying things. You know, you are applying things. You can decide what you want. You can create an imagination. You can create vision in your spirit, man. But I make sure you don't have that in your soul. You can even draw it. You can even draw it. You are looking for Mr. Wright or Mr. Wright or something or Mr. Gospel. You can even draw it down and, and keep it up. You can have it print. Or you are looking for a house, you don't just draw the house, the type of house you need. And you speak into it. You speak the word of life and the word of faith. And you are believing God, you want your life to be on fire. You can even put maybe the picture of one great man of God there or something like that and say, yes, maybe like Paul, the Apostle Paul. And you just write it there, Paul. And you, as, as a man still gets in his heart. So is he. As a man still gets in his heart. So is he. As a man still gets in his heart. So is he. That thing you are thinking in your mind, that thing you are only thinking will surely come to pass. Amen. How would you see people that they are thinking that this sickness is still there and the sickness is still there? Every time they are thinking this sickness will kill you. What do you say? What are you doing now? Hey, you, you think that it will kill you now. What can I do? <laughs> because you, you have already used your own mind or your own power to spoil everything. Sometimes I tell my mom that, you know, and she says something like, no, 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 speak this word, speak this word, speak this word, speak this word. Mom, you know, don't speak like that, you know, speak this word, speak this word. And then, eh, sometimes, what is this? And then speak the word, speak the word, speak the word. And it's like, no, no, what I'm saying, it is magic or something like that. It's not magic. You speak it. That's that the God kind of thing. God speak it, those things that are not as if they be. They are believing the Lord. Oh, I don't have a boy. 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 Like a sister like that, you know, I should know that. I, I know that she already believed in that already. And we are praying. I just say, I see a boy in your womb. I see a boy there. I see, which is not true. When we did the test, they say it's a boy. I'm happy in your life. But that, that prophecy, that word of prophecy has built up our faith. Are, are you getting that? That's why we must desire that prophecy also. Even the Bible says, those who should have it. Because it has built up our faith to believe that, yes, I'm going to have a boy. I'm going to have a boy. Maybe you are believing God for that. Take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I said, take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 I don't know where I want to be. So, what do you say? Speaking like that, think those things that are not as if they are, they're going to come to pass. I think I have to rush it. So, pray with understanding, pray with density, pray with a victorious battle, victorious mindset. Pray because Jesus has won the battle. Do you know before you started doing your prayer, that prayer has been victorious two thousand years ago. Do you know? Yes. Do you know? Yes, sir. All these things we are doing in red. God has already designed how this ministry will be. If I like, I hit my head for what? If I like, <laughs> I do dry fasting. That thing that God has decided to do, He will do it. Amen. He will do it. Amen. That is Amen. the truth. Because He has already designed it. He has already designed what. Where we did 10 years time, in five years time, in 15 years time, in 20 years time. What I do as a child of God, are you doing? I walk in the walk of Jesus Christ. Are you seeing that your faith is rising up right now? Amen. I sense that your faith is rising up right Amen. now. Amen. Your faith is rising up right now. Amen. I'm not going to create the balance. I'm, I'm trying to create the balance between holiness because. Maybe I'll be preaching more on faith, you know, because many of us know about holiness going to heaven, but our faith, our faith is still low. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Have you read it in the word of God before? Without faith, 
If you don't have faith that heaven is real, you will not get to heaven. If you don't believe that rapture will take place, you can't make rapture. What you don't believe, you will not get. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I might not be able to quote the Lord of Jesus Christ before my time, but whenever you go to God in prayer, have a vision in your spirit. That's what I do. Let me share this with you. Most times when I pray, I see something in the world of the spirit. I see a ring. I see four rings. The four rings come all about me. It keeps on going. What can four rings appear and I see? God in heaven can stand that way. The four rings is a kind of anointing. Sometimes it's as if it covers the universe anytime I'm praying. Or I see myself standing on the air and I'm praying. Or I see myself on a mountain. And that's how it is in the world of the spirit. I might be on the earth praying, but I'm not on the earth. Why? Because anytime you are speaking those words and you go deep into the realm of the spirit, the Holy Ghost takes charge. So I begin to see myself in another realm of the spirit. At that moment, I know the devil can't stop me anymore. I know that if I say let it be like this, it will be like that. I know that yes, my faith increases, my faith increases, my faith increases. When I now begin to pour out the blood, I don't know how to the blood to the I start angel washing me inside of the blood. I see the blood washing me from head to toe. I see the blood cleansing me. I see God doing something through the blood in my life. What I'm trying to say there, don't pray without a vision in your spirit. When you are praying, God, give me this thing. Visualize it. You know how to, you know how to say imagination. Let me, if I will use that word, maybe it's, it's what will help us. Imagine it to be so. You are praying, oh Lord, change this, my husband. Have a vision in your spirit that your husband is changed already. I mean, say a vision in your spirit that. God has worked on your husband. He's no more smoking. He's no more going outside. He's no more sleeping all around. Have that kind of vision in your spirit. Your, your husband comes late at night. At night. What is he doing? Is he playing with anybody? Have a vision in your spirit that your husband is coming back very early. Whatever you think here is what you think. Are you getting that? Let me share this five news. As a man, I think I read his story. His video was like his head. He was one of the famous bankers, and I think he was more of a billionaire or billionaire. Very rich man, you know. And um, he said that his desire in life is to have all the good things of life. He left his wife, uh, if, if you read, I forgot his name. He left his wife, he left his children. He said he wants to catch fun. Every he said that's the kind of fun he wants to have in life. Just to be having sex, to party, to become great in life, to become a great banker, to have all the money. My brother, that thing that man desire, he goes into a worldly man. He desires the things from the world and he got it. Let me tell you the simple truth. Anything you desire is what you get. Nobody will stop you. If you desire that you want to be another great man of God in your generation, no devil can stop you. If you desire you want to be one great woman of God, maybe like the patriot woman, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Anything you desire that is according to the plan of God and in the word of God, it will surely come to pass. Because we human beings, we have a strong desire, a strong body passion that God has given to us. Anything you want to go for. That's, that's what I want. If I want to go for this thing, I'm going for it to the end. I push, I keep pushing until I get that thing. You must have that same kind of spirit also. And focus it on the word of God. When you are praying, believe. Believe that God hears your prayer. And also, when you are praying, also, desire to hear back from God. You are the, not be the only one doing the talking. After you are finished talking to God, talking to God, you are, you are finished helping with all your prayer points. Settle down small. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. It is not in your prayer that faith is built up. It is in the receiving from the Lord through prayer that your faith is built up. Because if I finish praying, sometimes I can hear a voice say to me, the Lord is with you. The Lord has done it. Rejoice. Rejoice. That means you want my dad. Hey, my dad has risen up already. Are you seeing that? There are so many secrets that I have given, but I know that God will help us in the mighty name. Oh, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's rise up as we go to God in prayer. I know someone's faith has risen up right now. Amen. 
let me let me see your hands there. I hope your feet are risen up there right now. Amen. Let, let me see your hands there. Wave up your hands to me right now. Let, let, let me see your hands there. I know something has happened in your life right now. Your faith is risen up. Amen. It's going to be permanent. Amen. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Lord of all and but for us. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you for that wonderful message. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, before we call for the offering, let's um, commute our mic. Let's pray for the man of God. Let's pray for him. Let's commit him to the abilities of God that the Almighty God should continue to guide and protect him. More grace upon his life, more anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll meet your mic and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting King of glory, Lord God Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the man of God. We thank you for his life. We thank you for using him. We thank you, King of glory, for his grace, for, his, for your mercy. Upon his life, God Almighty, King of glory, we bless your holy name. Father, we pray this our Lord will continue to guide and protect him. In the great name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you continue to increase him. In the name of Jesus, more wisdom, more knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. More fire to do the work of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you, God, we glorify your name. For there is no like you, for there is no to be God. Father, we say thank you, God, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. At this hour, we are going to continue the game. I think we're going to pray that every single monitor is more every single light of ministry. Let the fire of God light them, let them receive blindness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, so God is speaking of me. I pray this our God. We come against the principalities and power, every power of darkness, every evil money, upon the man of God, upon the ministry. Let them start to live fire in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed by fire. Let them be blind. 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 For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us also pray for our brother, brother Innocent. Let's pray for him. Let's commit him to the presence of the Lord. That God Almighty should continue to guide and protect him. More grace, more wisdom, more knowledge to do the work of God in the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, everlasting King of glory, we are praying, O oh God, King of glory, we pray for the but I will pray this our Lord Almighty to people using all God for people to your own way the mighty name of Jesus. So in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Offering time. Blessing time. Offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. Blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me explain how to pay in our tithe and offering. You can pay in your tithe and offering direct to the, to the ministry account or directly to the man of God account. You can do that through Western Union or MoneyGram. God bless us all as we do so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. I call on our sister, Sister Sandra, please give us a free song. Five minutes, man. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All free time. Let it die. Let's bring our offering out to joy and happiness as we do that in the Lord bless us and multiply us in Jesus' name. Amen. All we have is given to us by our God. All I have is given to me by my Lord. All I have is given to me by my Lord. All we have is given to us by our God. All I have oh, is given to me by my Lord. All I have is given to me by my Lord. All my life is given to me by my Lord. All my work is given to me by my Lord. My job oh, is given to me by my Lord. How I soul 
to the end of this uh, service today. I believe we are all blessed. I will call on our brother. Okay. Brother Godwin, sir, please lead us in our in, in, in closing prayer, sir, please. <laughs>
of a testimony for our blessings with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, glorious God. Thank you, Jesus. We are waiting for you, Lord. We know that we are not perfect. We are not here yet. But we believe, Lord, you perfect that which was started in our mind. And we take us to heaven. Lord, please just take us to heaven. Take us to heaven, Lord. Amen. Take us to heaven, Jesus. Amen. Don't give us the name of Jesus. Take us to heaven. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. God bless you, Lord Grace. In, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll call on our one. Sister, uh, Sister Sandra, please read us in our monthly declaration. My God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My month of divine enlargement. Just in my month of divine enlargement. Just little four words of my substance. Just little four words of my substance. And to bring many souls to the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to bring many souls to the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let me go. So let me go. Amen. Amen. We share the grace in fellowship. The grace of the grace of our Lord and Jesus Christ. The Lord of God. And it's a fellowship in the world. Amen. Amen. Sure. Shalom, 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 Shalom,